I picked up a new hobby recently, and after spending hundreds of hours researching, I believe I'm now an expert in this field. It's like an addiction. I just can't get enough of these cringy mobile game ads. If you haven't seen the ads before YouTube videos, or you're just skipping out on them completely, you're missing out on some of the greatest advertising that has ever graced this earth. It doesn't get better than this. If this is your first mobile game ad experience, for real though, like, bless you. If this is your first time ever seeing a mobile game ad, I'm jealous. Let me introduce you. Mobile game ads never cease to amaze me. You know, when I think of a zombie apocalypse, the weapons that come to mind, a gun, machete, lethal farts. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. It's probably the last thing I've thought of. That's a lot of zombies. How do you not notice that, you know, the whole world is basically taken over by zombies? Do you just not have phones or nothing? Or are you just like chilling? Luckily, the government came just in time to trap all the zombies with the fishnet. <laughs> They're grinding zombies into fertilizer. I don't think the story can get any better than that. That's fertilization to its maximum potential. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. What the heck is going on? This joint went off the rails like that, like literally in an instant. I thought it was a dating sim at first, and then no, it's a zombie apocalypse game, and then no, I thought it was a farming game, and no, it's everything all at once. You're in a dating sim, you're farming, and you're fighting zombies while rebuilding a city. This might be number one game if this thing was actually real. There's no way this is a real game, bruh. Michael Bay ain't got nothing on this mobile game ad. This is better than his entire catalog, Transformers, uh, whatever else Michael Bay has made. I don't really know. I just know him from Transformers, but he ain't got a lick on this. This one has no sound for some reason. It's a robbery. Nope. It's a zombie apocalypse game. No, nope. <laughs> the dude just threw the grenade. Why was that your first instinct to throw a grenade in a plane, bro? And everyone's flying out of that joint. That man just killed everybody on that plane. Oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> First, it was a plane robbery going into a zombie apocalypse. Now it's a Clash of Clans ripoff world building game. Like, what the heck is going on? Wait, is this the same ad? Okay, now it is a zombie survival game. I've literally never even played a game like that. I haven't seen, I haven't viewed, no one's recommended a zombie survival world building Clash of Clans style game. Where do these games exist? <laughs> What the heck? Why was he even in prison? <laughs> Bro had a hat under his cell the whole time to escape and he's just been deciding to chill in there. The premise behind this game already is crazy. A platformer zombie survival game? What? That sounds dope. Oh, never mind. They changed the entire game now. Now we're in a zombie survival something game. Bro, does that zombie have a reward of 999? Trillion dollars? Trillion dollars? Trillion dollars? Hey pal, you just blowing from stupid town? One zero, one, two, three million, billion. That <laughs> that zombie has a reward for nine trillion dollars. Ten trillion, honestly. Ten trillion, honestly. What the heck? What this man do? What massacre did he endure on this earth? Oh, both of them are worth nine trillion, bro. Who's putting these out? Rival zombie gangs? Is money even a currency in this world anymore? Like, it's not gonna be worth anything, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> all that, all this man has been through: escaping prison, finding a lifelong companion in his dog, fighting zombies for money as a bounty hunter, all that to die from a zombie fart. <laughs> And she then takes over your job and becomes an elite zombie. What have you come to? What is this world? The thing about these mobile game ads is that their gameplay 100% never lives up to the hype or they literally do not exist at all. <laughs> Editor Mario interrupting here. And I saw while I was editing this video that we actually hit 100 subscribers. Well, we surpassed 100 subscribers. And I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who took the time out of the day to watch my videos. 
and decide to subscribe or like or comment or whatever you do. It really means a lot to me that you guys can enjoy the content that I make because I enjoy making it every single day. I love making videos and I just want to keep making them for y'all and hopefully you guys will still be there watching them. So we're going to keep grinding out these videos for y'all. I appreciate every single one of y'all and let's just get back to work. Peace. Lethal farts? <laughs>